To begin, click on your account name in the bottom left of the window and from the pop-up menu, click Preferences. From there, you'll want to click Accounts and ensure that the domain you're federating against has been verified in Apple Business Manager. You can tell this by the presence of a green dot. Today, we're federating against devicelookup.co.uk. You'll be prompted to sign into Google Workspace with one of your admin accounts that has the permissions to add applications. You'll be prompting to add the Apple Business Manager account into your Google Workspace. Review the permissions and grant the extra three. This completes the first step of the federated authentication setup. While this is the first step completed, if you try to go to Directory Sync now, you'll find that you actually can't turn on federation because only step one has been completed. Here you'll see what happens if you try to do it too early. You actually have to go back and federate the domain itself now that the background setup has been completed. To do this, head back to Accounts, click Edit, and then Federate against the domain. You'll see the logo changes from the Apple logo to the Google logo. The final step is then to toggle the Enable switch for Federation. This will check for conflicts in the background and assuming there aren't any, you'll receive an email as you can see on the screen, and the logo will change to Google. You can now head to Directory Sync and import any existing Google Workspace users so that people can sign in to managed Apple IDs with those credentials.